So today here I will uh, like to begin the series of fat simulations, a very favorite app of mine uh, where you can promote STEM learning for children and I have used it for ages. So when you ca come to Google search or Bing and you just write down fat simulations, you click and you come to this link, then click on the link and here you are on the page of fat simulations so today i will just walk you through the app and then you see how it appears and how what you can do with it so see you can sign in um, for using the app you need not sign in but i think that if you sign in you get some more facilities mm, and uh, it is free of course if you like to donate because they are working for the purpose of education you can donate right you may donate or i already donated or maybe later you can say so now you can begin using the app and here uh, you can see simulation and teaching research and initiatives whenever you have time you can check out these but i will uh, uh, promote you to first begin with baby steps and so come to simulations the app has a lot of things uh, therefore i will make many series for you to watch so uh, suppose i click on all slim sims and today i want to teach say electric circuit to a class so i will open this and i will come to uh, say electricity and magnets and you will be able to see uh, different things which are available here right now uh, uh, for me now you can choose whichever you want for me to begin with i like this particular simulation a lot circuit construction kit uh, dc you can check out uh, all depending on uh, the laptop you have uh, particular ones will open so you can check out whichever is opening for you there are four uh, for the circuit you can start with dc circuit and then you have for ac circuit beautifully made simulation for children to learn you can teach it in the classroom i will suggest that you allow them autonomy and let them learn on their own just guide them give them instructions on what to do so now so you want to open the app um, simulation see it is also you can also learn you want to make your lesson plan sample learning goals you know, topics which are covered inclusive features which are there you can go through these things i am not getting into those details those you can check because i believe that those who want to learn should also work um, I have never uh, spoon fed my students so here you can see the um, laboratory opens and uh, on the left side you will find that there are there is wire battery bulb resistor switch and whole lot of things paper coin paper clip dollar bill fuse wire and you can uh, check on top also so you can find so many things are here now to begin with you can uh, if you uh, want to show here electrons movement you can show the movement of electrons i will uh, go through these first let me uh, draw a simple circuit so if you want to begin with a simple circuit just the child has to pull out the battery ask the child to do you don't do it i will suggest that kindly don't do it for them see a very very simple circuit you can begin making or the child can begin making and here is the bulb to be lighted and see when you connect it there you go right that is the simplest thing a child can begin learning once the child has learnt this you can uh, first you check out and i will suggest that you check out you play and see now see here once you have clicked on this the voltage can increase look when the voltage increases what happens to the current let the child visualize don't give them 
um, various definitions and stuff like that. Definitions can learn really later. Once this fixes in the mind that when the voltage is increased, what happens? So can we increase the voltage in the real world of a battery? No. So what do we do when we have to increase the voltage? You can ask the child. So I am just giving you ideas how to make a child critical, think critically and be creative. Now this, this was battery. Let me check out the C. The wire. If you want to delete the wire, the wire can be deleted. So you can click on this. You get a scissor. The connection is broken. So again you can show that it is a closed circuit an open circuit etc then the bulb click on the bulb see here you are getting resistance now you can increase the resistance now this would be perhaps for a little senior class than those who are learning simple circuit so you can utilize it or you can just teach the child about resistance here also the movement of electrons and if there is no resistance then what happens so these are the few things like you can begin teaching the child using this particular simulation. So now that you have seen the simulation, uh, I will just remind you that if you are in a classroom of 40 or 50, you can divide the students in the group depending on the device you have. If you are in the classroom, you can do this or if you are in the breakout rooms, put them in the breakout rooms, assign them work. And in this particular simulation that we talked about, you can give instructions for the students. For example, make a simple circuit, blow the bulb and show. Some more you can think of. Similarly, uh, here you can say change the length of the wires to be used. No different changes what you find. Change the voltage and see. see write down the results. Insert different material in the circuit and note down the cases in which the bulb glows or does not glow. Add more batteries and see what happens. Add more bulbs. Try to make different designs. And a special tip. Do not tell students that look now this is an insulator and this is a conductor. I think if you tell them that today what you have done go and check in the book and find out what are the substances which uh, do not let the bulb glow. Believe me, they will go through the textbook, which you know, we teachers want the children to go through the textbook, read. It will be an added addition. Children will read the book and it will really be very helpful. So, I hope I am able to enhance your uh, classrooms and be a partner in your classrooms. Again, a reminder, you can Google FET simulations, go to any search engine. You can log in that is preferred because later on as I come up with more and more videos on simulations, I will show you how helpful is FET simulation for a teacher. Uh, it will not only professionally, it will not only make your classroom better, but it will even develop you professionally. And then it is free to use. You may donate because it is made for the cause of ch uh, children and education. So if you feel like, go ahead. Okay then. See you in the next episode of Power Learning with Simulations.